हेलो आई एम लक्ष्मण महेश्वरी एंड वेलकम टू अवर फाइव पार्ट सीरीज ऑन न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया थ्रू दिस सीरीज वी विल बी कवरिंग द जर्नी एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया द न्यूक्लियर कैपेबिलिटीज दैट इंडिया हैज बोथ इन सिविल एज वेल एज मिलिट्री अरिनाज द गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड रेगुलेटर्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलेटेड टू न्यूक्लियर पावर इन इंडिया लाइक बी ए आर सी एन पी सी आई एल bhavani etc the various nuclear power plants and reactors in india like apsara cirrus etc the nuclear liability act of 2010 the treaty on the non proliferation of nuclear weapons or the non proliferation treaty and india stand on it finally the challenges and concerns relating to nuclear power welcome back to part 2 bhaba atomic research center or barc Dr Homi Jahangir Bhaba is considered the father of nuclear program in India. In 1945 he established the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research TIFR to carry out nuclear science research. In the January of 1954 he established the Atomic Energy Establishment Trombay AEET for multidisciplinary research programs related to atomic energy. In 1966 Dr Bhaba passed away. and the next year aeet was renamed bhaba atomic research center barc works tirelessly to make sure india is self reliant in all the fields of nuclear science and engineering the nuclear power unit of ins aryanth was designed and built at bark further barc training institute create high quality talent needed to expand the atomic research and development programs of india some consider barc as the mother of all research and development institutions and industrial establishments pertaining to nuclear energy in india be it nuclear and accelerator technologies or nuclear power production materials technology electronics and instrumentation a very proud achievement of barc was the apsara reactor the first nuclear reactor in asia it was a pool type reactor which produced 1 megawatt of power and it achieved criticality on august 4 1956 it used highly enriched uranium as fuel and light water was used both as moderator and coolant it was used extensively for production of isotopes basic research shielding experiments neutron activation analysis neutron radiography and for testing neutron detectors however due to various international regulatory issues it was permanently shut down in 2010 an upgraded version of 2 megawatt thermal power with a light enriched uranium fuel is under construction at barc the second nuclear reactor in india was cirrus which stood for canadian indian reactor uranium system it was a 40 megawatt thermal reactor built in collaboration with canada which was commissioned on 10th july 1960 it was used for condensed matter research using neutron beams material irradiation fuel testing neutron activation analysis etc it helped production of radio isotope for application in medicine agriculture and industry after 50 years of successful operation it was permanently shut down in december 2010 but while it was operational it was a great platform for training of engineers and scientists also it gave birth to india's pressurized heavy water reactor program It is worth mentioning that it produced some of India's initial weapon grade plutonium stockpile. In fact, the plutonium for India's 1974 Pokhran 1 test which was code named Smiling Buddha came from Cirrus. A relatively young organization in India's nuclear program is Bhavani or Bharatiya Navakiya Vidyut Nigam Limited. It is a wholly owned public sector undertaking of the union government which was established in 2003. in chennai it is responsible for the construction commissioning and operation of all stage 2 fast breeder reactors which are a part of country's three stage nuclear power program bhavani is administered by the department of atomic energy and is the second nuclear power generating company in india the first and the most important commercial nuclear power generation company of india is nuclear power corporation of india limited npcil it is again a public sector enterprise under the administrative control of the department of atomic energy in the september of 1987 it was registered as a public limited company 
under the Companies Act of 1956. It operates atomic power plants and implements atomic power projects for the generation of electricity under the Atomic Energy Act of 1962. NPCIL has a total installed capacity of 6780 megawatt electric and it has power plants in seven locations in total it has 22 commercial nuclear power reactors out of which two are boiling water reactors 18 are pressurized heavy water reactors and then there are two pressurized water reactors four reactors are under various stage of construction which will add a total of 2800 megawatt capacity now you can have a look at india's journey in nuclear power generation from 1969 to 2011 and please notice the huge increment that we have made thank you for watching our series on nuclear power in india keep watching for more information there are other parts available too have a good day